welcome in this video i will explain how to install an esxi server without a cd using pxe install for that we need a server pxe server application we'll download that from vercard.com go to the website and download the community edition of the server pxe server so this community edition has a few limitations it can boot only two servers simultaneously and maximum boot time of 50 minutes but this will be useful for a test or a lab environment so take your time to compare the versions download the community edition once it's downloaded extract it into your preferred location i will extract this into my desktop I will create a new folder in desktop and name it as server and copy the extracted files into this location so now we'll connect I have already attached the ESXA CD using an ISO to my virtual machine so now I copy the contents so we need this boot configuration EFI files later I will call, copy the entire CD content into a folder inside a server application folder. So create a new folder and name it as ESXi. And I will paste all the copied contents from the ESXi CD. Now I will launch the application 64-bit. Since we have a community edition, we have to wait for seven seconds each time when we launch the application. Yeah, just accept the firewall and Windows firewall exceptions. Take your time to read through the license agreements and click OK when you are OK to accept license. I'm gonna click OK just double click on the icon to go to settings so we have a multiple options http ftp sftp ftp and dhcp options in this video we need only tftp and dhcp first we'll configure the tftp server so if you have a multiple interfaces or a network cards configured on the server so you want to use a specific ip address for this you can select from the drop down but since I have only one IP address, I will leave it unchecked. So next, we're going to choose the default folder where we have an FTP. In this case, I have a file. Uh, I will select the ESXA folder as a default TFTP location. So I will leave the remaining options for, as default. move to our next tab DHCP so since in this example I don't have any DHCP server in my setup so I'm gonna select DHCP server if you have an existing DHCP server in your estate you can use P DHCP server I will explain that one in the next video so same I get TFTP if you have a multiple interfaces or IP addresses you can select preferred IP from a drop down I will leave that as unchecked So you can enable MAC filtering uh, to allow specific MAC addresses to boot from this PXE server by entering the MAC addresses of the uh, machines. But I'm going to leave it turned off since it is in my lab where uh, I don't want to use any filters. I just need to enter enter the IP range IP addresses for the DHCP so in my case I will just start from 10 
172.0.0.10 and leave it as a 10 next 10 ip addresses so which will allow 10 machines to be built using pxe so then subnet mask is so for a next boot file we need to get the esxa boot boot x64 dot efi file just need to paste the efi since we have the parent esxa folder copied as a tftp root we don't need to mention the entire path we just mention from esx slash esxa slash boot boot x64 dot efi which will be the EF default boot for the esxa server Now we'll finish the remaining DHCP scope options with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Then if you want to have a default gateway or a router, I'll just enter my gateway um, These are the minimal options you need. If you don't have a switch or a router, you can attach a, a direct it. RJ45 Ethernet cable from your laptop or a desktop to a machine where you want to install a SXA server. So once its configuration is saved, you have to re reboot the server application, relaunch each time when you do a configuration changes. So I will relaunch the application. In my case, I don't have an X another machine, so I will just use my lab uh, SXA lab setup as create a machine and then demonstrate the boot pxe boot yeah once you were relaunched you can see the tftp dhcp and uh, common log folders which will show you what is happening when server boots up or gets an ip address now i go back to my esx server i'll create a virtual machine i'm going to just name it as esx and select others for operating system and then I'll select ESXA 7 and late or later the next I will leave everything default CPU memory configuration since we're going to use network boot PXE option I want to remove this CD-ROM and I'll choose internal uh, uh, port group where I have a Windows 10 machine running PXE server. Yep, now we have ready to co complete the configuration. I just re edited and uh, set the uh, force BIOS option for next boot so that we can select network boot option. The boot option select the force bios option i'll just expose uh, select the expose hardware of virtualization to guest so that i won't get any error messages during an esx install I'll keep the windows the pxc server at, uh, and the uh, esxi window so that we can control so that we can see what's happening on the both sides simultaneously Yep, now I selected a network boot option. So it's gonna boot. Now it's gonna start the DHCP door of discovery offer service. It got IP allocated. So it's picked up IP 172.0.0.10. You can see it's downloading files from TFTP server. 
in the right hand console you can see the ESXi is booting from PXC server it started installation it's downloading the files one by one from the TFTP server you can do a multiple uh, insula simultaneous installations for multiple servers since this is a so uh, application is community edition we can do only two servers but in this i'm going to use only one server just for a demo will create another video uh, to show how uh, if you have an existing DHCP server uh, how to use that setup for an existing DHCP server without changing anything on the DHCP scopes so uh, I will create another video to explain that how to use it let's wait for files to load up and then we'll proceed with the installation If you look at the TFTP logs, it's, everything is stopped, no, nothing is, all the files downloaded to the ESXi server memory, so now the TFTP server is not doing any, anything, so we can do an installation on offline, but I still prefer to keep the server running. Yeah, just proceed with the default ESXi installation. And just select next, next, and proceed with the default. The root password for ESXA. The installation is about to finish. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Yep, it's completed. Just click reboot, enter to reboot. Just ignore the remove this installation media since it is network. We don't need to do anything. Reboot it. Now we have a server. Yes, XA server installed. It will boot up and come back with an IP address 172.0.0.10 can connect using this IP and start using it. That's it, installation completed. Now it is starting up the services. use this approach in a production environment but it is still useful for a test or a lab set, uh, environment where you want to do some practice or deploy multiple services for a for production environment and so you can use an uh, VMware auto deploy
now the port is completed we have an ip address everything is success we can access the server console by browsing the ip address hope it is useful let me know if you have any recommendations or comments Thank you for watching. Thank you.